This is a chip. It's the brains of electronic devices, laptops, smartphones, TVs, and certainly the device you're watching this video on right now. Almost half of these chips are sold globally by American firms like Qualcomm and Intel. But now, China is racing to change that. The country has added almost $30 billion into its own semiconductor companies, like Chinese manufacturer SMIC. SMIC is China's hope to win this tech race with the US. SMIC is one of many little-known Chinese tech companies that saw their stocks rise earlier this year, as the Trump administration announced a number of moves to effectively shut Chinese tech giants, including TikTok and Huawei, out of the US market. Huawei is something that's very dangerous. I mean, Washington's attitude toward China, particularly when it comes to technology, is that the two countries need to separate. We could wind up with two different uh, ecosystems when it comes to technology. This separation process has been called decoupling. So how are the US and China trying to become more self-sufficient? And what does it mean for tech giants in both countries? We cannot take the security risks of any of those companies, including Huawei, which, as you know, we put a halt to. Huawei and the hugely popular video app TikTok have both been accused of being potential tools for Chinese espionage and have been labelled by the US as a security threat. We want to see untrusted Chinese apps removed from US app stores. President Trump has mentioned impending action on TikTok, and for good reason. Both Huawei and TikTok have vehemently denied those allegations and said they operate independently from Chinese government. And this administration has broadened the notion of what national security is way beyond any other administration. And when it comes to China, they define national security as data. All Chinese technology is suspect, according to this administration. As TikTok received threats of being outright banned in the US, and the US government said Huawei would be barred from buying chips from the US and other countries, investment from China has almost ground to a halt. Chinese investment in the US is down 90 some odd percent. The restrictions have also startled a number of American companies, which have been lobbying hard against the changes. Huawei is a big client for corporations including Qualcomm and Intel. The likes of Microsoft Bill Gates and Alibaba's Jack Ma have said the recent escalations are counterproductive for both sides. American companies supply parts to Huawei. That may all go away, all of it. I mean, the Trump administration's message to American companies and European companies that want to do business in China is don't do it. Come to the US. So how is China responding? Beijing announced it would no longer allow its own artificial intelligence tech, think facial recognition and data processing, to be exported without new licenses. Beijing also said it wanted to launch its own new set of global data rules. While Washington and Beijing are fighting on a number of fronts, from Hong Kong to Taiwan and the South China Sea, tech has emerged as a strategic priority. That's where companies like SMIC come in. China has had a long-standing desire to reduce Chinese companies' dependence on foreign supply. However, it's really not until the Trump's trade war that the Chinese leadership realized that this is really serious. We really need to put our act together now. China launched its own version of the Nasdaq last year, the star market, and stocks there have soared. It reflects how much investors think companies can benefit from the country's quest for self-reliance. Under Xi Jinping, there's a new slogan. It's called domestic circulation. This esoteric slogan means that China, going forward, is going to prioritize its own companies, its own markets, and Chinese consumption. Chips are particularly important. China is the world's biggest consumer of chips. It spends more on chips than it does on oil and imported $300 billion worth of chips last year. Policymakers are using SMIC as a role model for other companies with similar ambitions. They're basically telling those companies, we're willing to invest in you, we're willing to help you, but as long as you adhere to the policy agenda. Beijing is already touting a number of successes. China's economy is forecast to be the only major economy to grow this year. And that's benefiting its tech giants. Huawei, which is already a global champion in 5G technology, became the number one smartphone seller in July, mostly thanks to its domestic market, where it sells over 70% of its phones. But ending its reliance on US technology remains complicated. You have a lot of really smart engineers and scientists on both sides of the Pacific 
if they are not working together, that will clearly retard, you know, innovation. Huawei announced in 2019 that it can produce a phone without US chips. Still, those substitute parts are themselves made with American technology and tools, and the administration has taken steps to close the loophole. And if US regulation doesn't allow Huawei to buy key components made with US tech, Huawei may simply not be able to produce its hardware. Analysts estimate that Huawei's stockpile of US components will only last for one or two years. Huawei has declined to comment on its inventory. Huawei's situation is seen as a confirmation that despite heavy investment, Chinese chip companies like SMIC are still lagging behind. While SMIC has said it aims to accelerate the development of its own chip tech, for now, the company still relies on a lot of US technology. And as the Trump administration said it was considering placing restrictions on the semiconductor company, its shares tumbled. China is said to be about four years behind the US and Taiwan. China has been here before. It has been trying to catch up with the US for decades. And it's not the first time it has invested so heavily in semiconductor industry. However, it still has a huge gap to fill. And now time is running short. And the US is also making moves. Legislation is making its way through the US Senate that could pump an additional $37 billion into American semiconductor manufacturing and research and development. And whether or not Trump is re-elected, US actions aren't likely to stop. I don't think the, a Biden administration would take a fundamentally different view toward China. China would still be the number one competitor. There would still be issues you know, on human rights, national security, technology. No matter who's next in the White House, this kind of inward turning policy China has is here to stay. China's leadership realizes the US is no longer a reliable partner. So after years of escalating tensions between the US and China, the decoupling of their tech industries will now likely continue. I mean, what the US at the moment is doing is, is saying to the rest of the world, choose. You know, are you going to go with us or are you going to go with them? 